So we've got 3DG installed. So let's go ahead and turn it on. So let's start, first of all, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn it on on a single mesh. And then I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to turn it on on multiple meshes at once to speed things up. But let's start with a single mesh because you know we like baby steps, right? So we've got this uh, large um, rough area right here that I've got highlighted. You can see um, this rough area. And if I zoom in on it, um, you can see that it does not have any 3DG. I mean, it looks kind of grassy, but that's actually the texture. It doesn't have 3DG. And you're gonna see what 3DG looks like here uh, in a split second. So first thing we want to do is a lot of times when I'm working with anything that could be potentially uh, performance impacting, especially something like 3DG, I like to turn on um, game mode and just get an idea of what my performance currently is. And you can see this is pretty high and it's gonna be hard to tell, but I've got about 300K um, and I'm getting about 500 frames per second. I got a pretty decent laptop here. Um, now what I could do is I could maybe back this out just a tad and go to back to my main camera and do assets and uh, I'm sorry, game object, align to view, and then let's run that again and see what performance looks like. Now I don't have any trees and stuff in here yet. And if you're in this part of the video, you might have trees. So it might be odd you know, to see mine without trees because I'm recording this a little bit of a, out of order. Uh, but you can see here, it looks like it's around 300 frames per second, okay? So on to this um, rough area here again. And let's see. So we got this rough area highlighted. We go over here to enable 3DG, we click on add component and we search for grass. And you'll see this option called grass renderer, not grass regenerator, grass renderer. And I'm gonna turn that on. When I turn that on and I enable it in my uh, mesh, I get three add-ons here. I get a nature mesh filter. And essentially what this does is it actually adds another filter, not a filter, another mesh on top that the, the grass, the 3DG is actually going to sit on. It adds this grass on off script which is something that is done game side. So when people use different um, levels of graphics, like you know we have light, low, medium, high, ultra, um, and certain ones of those, we turn off the 3DG. So that's what enables that. So nothing you really need to concern yourself with. And then we have our grass renderer script, which is actually the thing that's going to draw the grass, okay, the grass renderer. So the first thing we had to do, and actually one of the few things we had to do, it's pretty easy to turn on 3DG, we can go over here to our prop store, our project, and type in 3DG. And then when we do that, anything, most of the things coming up in the, the results that are our materials that start with 3DG and have the blue dot next to them are 3DG materials. And you can see we've got ones for deep rough, we've got ones for rough, we've got ones for pot straw, pine straw, semi rough. We have even like these water based hazard lines and stuff. Um, but really, you can cycle through these and take a look at what you want. But since we are working on a rough area, it's best to start with a rough grass um, material. So in this case, we have all these ones through here. So we've got rough blend, mow lines, mow lines lush. I'm not going to be able to tell you which one's best. They're all pretty darn good. I know one of my favorites is the three texture. Um, we got no lines, no texture. Let me show you the difference between a mo line and no mo line, though. But we got, let's do the rough blend, no mo lines default. And I'm going to slide that into my materials and my grass renderer. And then when I do that, I magically now have 3DG. Now, if I zoom in, you can see that I have 3D grass on there. And let me just turn it off. So if I can turn it off by disabling the renderer. And now you can see how much depth that adds. And you can see that it doesn't render out terribly far. If I come up here in the air, it stops right about out here. And that's our render distance, okay? So that's a settings. But we can scroll back in here, zoom in, and you can start putting some other ones in here. So this is the no mo lines default. Let's do mo lines default. And what do you think is going to happen? Yeah, we're going to get some mo lines. You can see those here. So I got a mo line here, mo line here. Maybe it doesn't show up in the video all so well. Um, what you can do is you could take all these different rough materials 
and you could just start putting them in here and trying out different ones. So let's go back to our 3DG here again. So we've got our, let me type in 3DG. And let me see, I got rough, where's my three, here's my rough mow lines, three texture, no mow lines rush. Let's do this one. You can see there's that one, okay? Which is again, slightly different. It's got a few different colors mixed into a well. Looks pretty good. Now, Going through and enabling this on every single mesh in your scene would be a pain in the ass. It would take forever. You don't want to do this for hundreds of meshes. So how do we do multiple at once? Well, it's pretty straightforward. What you can do is find your material here. So in this case, it's our rough. So one approach is I can come up here and find the material that I'm using for my rough. So here's my rough. Here's the material it's using, my OPCD Moss rough no line no mo lines default so i click on that here i find it in my project store i right click on it and now i can say find references in scene boop it's going to magically create a filter for me and that filter is going to list everything okay in my scene that is using um, that particular material now you can see i've got a lot of blends listed in here And I might not want to turn this on. As a matter of fact, I do not want to turn it on on my blends, but I do have um, my three roughs here, right? So I got this one and this one. So I'm going to highlight all those. Now I can come over here, add grass renderer to all three of them at once. I can also go in here and type in 3DG. And let's just say I want to make my rough no mo lines three texture lush for this guy. I'm going to drop it in the material slot. And now, if I get rid of my filter back here, um, all three of those meshes have 3DG on them. And you can see I really messed up something here. I got to go back and fix that, right? So now you can see if I zoom in here, I've got my 3DG on all of those. Another approach that you can always take is you can come over here and if see if you know the name of this is rough you could always just type in rough and here's also my rough so i actually might have missed one of these so this one looks like i missed this one but these guys all have yeah you can see i've got my grass render on this one got my grass render on this one and on this one Uh, I see, because when I was experimenting in some earlier videos, this one has, you can see, a default one material on it, where these all have the other default material. So that's why this one wasn't picked up through my, uh, this is my lab. So let's see, it's going to this one, and I can just do add component, grass renderer, uh, do my three texture, no mode line, three texture lush, grab it into the material slot and should be good now yep and it is enabled so that is enabling 3dg